What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to teach you how to set up your REQ42 21 band home theater equalizer. This is the perfect graphic EQ to really fine tune the sounds in your home theater setups. It also comes in two great colors of black and silver. The REQ42 also comes with a pair of rack ears that we can attach to the unit so we can mount it onto any rack mount or rack back. You can attach the ears by aligning them to the holes on the side of the EQ and screw them in by using the four included screws. After that, we can mount the EQ to our rack mount or rack bag by using the four corners off of our rack ear. But if you're planning on mounting your unit, we suggest taking off the feet at the bottom so it can fit better into your rack mount. So right off the bat, you'll notice the blue LEDs lit off the EQ itself, which makes for a sleek look in your home theater setup. There are two RCA outputs that we can use to send the EQ out to any receivers or amps in our home theater setup. Let me grab one right now, along with two passive speakers to show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here I have my blue tube amplifier along with two passive speakers that I'm gonna be using today with my REQ42. So to connect my EQ to my blue tube, I'm going to need an RCA cable. I'm gonna take one end and plug it into one of the RCA outputs on my EQ. Then I'm gonna take the other ends and plug them into one of the RCA inputs on my receiver. So for today's demo, I'm gonna be using my iPhone. So I'm gonna need an RCA to aux cable with the dongle to connect my phone. So I'll plug the dongle into my phone. Then I'm gonna take the RCA ends and plug them into the aux MP3 input on the back of the EQ. Now the REQ42 has four designated RCA inputs for your DVD players, tape machines, radio tuners, and aux or MP3 devices. We can switch between these sources at any time with the buttons here underneath the display with the names of those designated sources. So for example, if I wanted to plug my DVD player into the EQ, I would just need an RCA cable to connect the output Put from the DVD player into the DVD RCA input on the back of my EQ. And then we would press the DVD button under the display to hear the sound from that source. We can also use the 3.5 millimeter aux input on the front of the EQ to connect our MP3 devices as well. But we'll just want to be sure to press the aux MP3 input option so we can hear that source. Now as the name suggests, we have 21 frequency bands that we can use to adjust the sound of both the left and right channels to our liking. To affect the bass or low end frequencies, we would use anything from 32 to 275 hertz. For our mid-range, we'd want to affect anything from 250 hertz to 4 kilohertz. And for our high frequency range, we would want to affect anything from 4 kilohertz to 18 kilohertz. Another really cool feature on the REQ42 is the spectrum analyzer, which shows you how the EQ is affecting the mix in real time. The high and low buttons will affect the display on the front of the EQ. The direct button will actually bypass the EQ, playing the sources with the unaffected sound. And the EQ button will kick on the EQ so that we're hearing our sources with the adjusted frequency settings. Now to show you how the EQ sounds, I'm I'm gonna start with the EQ button off and then I'm gonna kick it on midway so we can really hear the difference. Here we go. Okay, doesn't sound too bad on its own, but now let's hear it with the REQ42 kicked on, ready? Three, two, one, and... Woo! Yeah! You can hear it makes a really big difference. The bass is boosted. We got the mix nice and crisp. The high end is really clear and present. Oh yeah. Now something very important I do want to point out is that if we try to connect our device to our receiver through Bluetooth, it actually won't work with the EQ. This is because the EQ is coming before the receiver in our signal chain, meaning the Bluetooth device would be skipping the EQ because it's going straight into the receiver. However, everything going into our EQ, like our DVD players, tape machines, TVs, or anything else connected to the EQ with RCA cables will be affected by it. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to use the EQ to affect the sound of anything being played through Bluetooth. So I hope this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your REQ42 21 band home theater equalizer. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, guys, I'm Perry from Rockville, and I'll see you next time.